The ACCC is taking Lorna Jane to court. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because, well, an interesting one, the ACCC is taking Lorna Jane to court. Now, if you're not familiar with it, it's this uh, female clothing activewear brand with the majority of it manufactured overseas that have shops all around Australia. And, you know, soccer mums and stereotypical uh, wealthy middle-aged women and younger women are fans of this product. We've actually worked for Lorna Jane. We've worked on about, what, 60 of their, their shop fit outs around the country. So, you know, if you're in the game, in the building game, just make sure you get everything in writing, guys. I'd call them a high maintenance client. So, the ACCC is taking them to court over their antivirus activewear claims. And we've looked at this before, guys. It's, well, it's ludicrous some of the claims they've made. And sure, normal people may, well, okay, no, I shouldn't use that term. You'd expect people not to fall for this type of BS. But then again, people are scared. People are afraid. And if something is advertised as providing you with protection or maybe just giving you a sense of having some control over a hopeless situation, they'll probably hand over the money. Probably more people than, than, than wouldn't really. So the ACCC has instituted proceedings in the federal court against Lorna Jane Proprietary Limited for alleged false or misleading claims about antivirus activewear in breach of Australian consumer law. In July 2020, Lorna Jane, Lorna Jane claimed that its antivirus activewear, which was sprayed with a substance called LG Shield, eliminated and stopped the spread of COVID-19 and provided protection against viruses and pathogens, including COVID-19, when this was not the case. So they're making false claims. Now, there are, there are materials and fabrics that you can get that's been treated to minimize the growth of, of bacteria and, and things like that. We specify it in hospital jobs. You know, it exists. I don't imagine you'd want to wear it on your body, but still. The claims were made over a wide range of media, including on Instagram, on its website, and in stores, including cure for the spread. Oh, are you kidding? Cure for the spread of COVID-19, Lorna Jane thinks so. I mean, this is crazy. This is just crazy that they're making these claims. And we'll, they've documented it here, and we'll go through just the instances of it. With Lorna Jane Shield... On our garments, it means that we're completely eliminating the possibility of spreading any de deadly viruses. I see. This is ludicrous. This this is just marketing spiel. And well, I, I can't say I'm particularly surprised uh, that the organisation is putting it out there. LJ Shield protecting you with antivirus activewear. Does it protect your computer? Most of the claims were removed in mid July, but until at least November 2020, Lorna Jane continued to represent on garment tags that the garments permanently protected the viewers against pathogens. I mean, this is the problem. This really, in, in many ways, it seems like they're taking advantage of the fear of the public. That's how, even if they're not, even that, if that wasn't the intention, that's what it comes across as. I mean, maybe that, maybe in a twisted way, they think they're doing good. I mean, come on, seriously. When you you think leggings are going to stop you getting the virus? I mean, come on. Not when you're breathing it in. Maybe they need to have a, a series of Lorna Jane face masks that are, you know, that are rated appropriately. I'd rather buy them at Bunnings. <laughs> so, it's particularly concerning that allegedly misleading claims about Lorna Jane's LG Shield activewear could eliminate the spread of COVID-19 were made at the time when there was fear about a second wave emerging in Australia, especially in Victoria. And all Australians were concerned about being exposed to the virus, ACCC Commissioner Sarah Court said. The ACCC also alleges that Lorna Jane represented that there was a scientific or technological basis for these claims at the time that they were made, when no such testing had been carried out. Oh, come on. Come on. Bloody... Um, yeah. We alleged that the statements made by Lorna Jane gave the impression that the COVID-19 claims were based on scientific or technological evidence when this was not the case, Ms. Court said. We are particularly concerned about this because consumers often trust well-known brands. 
and assume that their marketing claims are backed by solid evidence. This year, the ACCC prioritized consumer and competition issues arising from the COVID-19 pandemic, and we will continue to look closely at allegations relating to, com to companies seeking to take advantage of the crisis by engaging in illegal conduct to enhance their commercial position or harm consumers. Again, this is the problem. It, this all comes down to our education system. Or may maybe people just, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just fear, taking advantage of fear. It's, is this any different from a snake oil salesman? It has also alleged that Lorna Jane, Director and Chief Executive Officer, Miss Lorna Jane Clarkson, was knowingly concerned in the alleged conduct, including by personally making false or misleading claims about the LJ Shield, LJ Shield antivirus activeware in a media release and a video posted on Lorna Jane's Instagram account. The ACCC is seeking declarations, penalties, injunctions, corrective notice, and an order to implement a compliance program. So Lorna Jane is an Australian-owned company that manufactures and retails women's activewear overseas. Founded by its co-director Lorna Jane Clarkson and her husband. There's never any mention of her husband, and he's the real powerhouse behind the whole thing, guys. I don't think he even has a Lorna Jane email. This is the thing. The media wants to portray it as just some empowering, you know, female, feminist-led uh, uh, business. And uh, I mean, the off their whole premises is full of hundreds of women working there. All PMs usually getting terrible pay, to be honest. It, it's yeah, just just like I said, get everything in writing, guys, because you can't trust what they're telling you. Uh, I, I've, I've just, we just had some, you know, heard some stories for some builders given a verbal direction to meet a tight time frame and oh no we're not paying for that you know just get it all in writing guys that's standard business i understand some people when you're under pressure you, you take someone's direction or word just to get it done you know you got you got to be hard you got to be hard nosed dealing with retail uh, so in 17th of July 2020, the Therapeutic Goods Administration issued three infringement notices to Lorna Jane, totaling $39,960. The action taken by the TGA was separate to the ACCC's proceedings. The TGA's action related to Lorna Jane's failure to register goods on the Australian Register of Therapeutic Goods, a breach of the advertising code, and Lorna Jane's failure to seek TGA approval prior to making certain claims. So, these example images were used in the Lorna Jade's Instagram story posted on its page. I mean, there you go. Here to protect you. That, that's gonna, that's going to, you know, there'll, there'll be, there'll be women who are afraid of getting the virus and who will think that this will provide them some protection. I mean, there's people who buy crystals and, and you know, rocks and stuff like that and think that that protects them and those type of things. So in some ways it's no different to that. But, I mean, the claims that they were making. So let's have a look. They've got here in the notice of filings, they've got here, and I'll link to this if you want to go through all the vertical, but they've got all the instances, the conduct and the date. So item one, 2nd of July, 2020, you know, they're introducing Lorna Jane Shield, protecting you with antivirus activewear, activewear, followed by the images in the schedule. And then another Instagram here to protect you. Groundbreaking technology that makes transferal of all pathogens to your activewear, and let's face it, the ones we're talking about is COVID-19. Impossible by eliminating the virus on contact with the fabric. I mean, that, that's, that is a very, very bold claim. And there needs to be significant basis to this. There are products that you can use that, that mitigate the spread of virus. But uh, LG, uh, LJ Shield is safe, sustainable, and permanent. I mean, permanent? Applied as a water-based non-toxic mist. Protects against bacteria, viruses, mold, and fungus. So if they've got this tech, why the hell aren't they cornering the, the market for hospitals? Everyone. For all, every curtain that you need to put, every fabric that you need to put. Every, you, know, you could go nuts. They could... Bigger business than, than selling, you know, housewives and soccer moms leggings. Actually, this, this stuff's probably more popular. <laughs> <laughs> or more profitable. I mean, how much would it cost to make that? A few dollars? So, media release. Cure for the spread of COVID-19? Question mark. Lorna Jane thinks so. I mean, come on. 
this is the thing. This is. Do they even know what claims they're making? I, I assume they don't. I assume this is intentional, intentionally, um, you know, the elimination representation, the protection representation, the stop the spread representation, the reliability basis representation. Here we have another one. You know, the reliability basis representation. It, a revolutionary LG Shield treatment has been, well, it has been tested and verified by Itrek Testing Services, Taiwan. Okay, fantastic. Why didn't they get it tested by a laboratory in Australia, guys? The antivirus activeware, what is LG? Permanent safe. Again, look at all these claims that they're making. The product representation. So, I mean, here you go. Hey, Jennifer. Facebook Messenger response to consumer. So they're, they're capturing it all. So this is, I mean, I'll let you go through all of this on your own, everyone. Do they have, here we go, there's some images here you can see, and I can't rotate that in, well, we'll jump to here, and we'll, uh, we'll scroll down to see them. I mean, there you go. Helps protect you, safe, permanent. I mean, obviously, that this is going to, this is going to give people the perception that if they wear this, they'll be safe. And maybe it will have a slight antibacterial impact. But seriously, you know, what do you reckon? Let's have a look at how the media is reporting on this. So legal action against Norna Jane. The claim active wear could kill the coronavirus. Popular sportswear brand Norna Jane has been hit with a lawsuit over alleged false claims that active wear could kill the coronavirus. Women's sportswear brand Norna Jane is being sued by the competition regulator for allegedly making false claims its active wear could stop the and eliminate the spread of COVID-19. The ACCC has lodged legal proceedings against the Brisbane-based company over its antivirus active wear marketing campaign, which claims products were sprayed with LJ Shield, a coronavirus virus killing spray. The ACCC is alleging the antivirus garments were a false and misleading claim to consumers with no scientific study implemented to determine if the active wear could stop the spread of COVID-19. It was also alleged the company's chief executive officer, our chief executive, Lorna Jane Clarkson, was well aware the product did not combat the virus and made personal false claims by spruiking the clothes on social media and in testimonials. Lorna Jane's statement is, uh, Lorna Jane's statement in question is, with Lorna Jane Shield on a garment, it meant that we were completely eliminating the possibility of spreading any deadly viruses. An LJ Shield protecting you with antivirus activewear, I'm most of the claims were removed in mid-July, but the ACCC said Lorna Jane continued to run the false and false representation on garment tags until at least November. The ACCC Commissioner Sarah Court said the claims were not backed by any scientific evidence and could take advantage of vulnerable consumers, particularly Victorians, who were battling the second wave of the virus. We allege that the statements made by Lorna Jane gave the impression that the COVID-19 claims were based on scientific or technological evidence when there was not a case to be made. It is particularly concerning that alleged misleading claims that Lorna Jane's shield activewear could eliminate the spread of COVID-19 were made at a time when there was a fear about a second wave emerging in Australia, especially in Victoria, and all Australians were concerned about the exposure to the virus. They've got 108 stores, and there you go. The action related to Lorna Jane's filing, they're referring to the Therapeutic Goods Administration. So what do you all think, everyone? Are you a fan of Lorna Jane and their products? What do you reckon about it? I mean, it just, it's not very classy, is it? Really, it is just not very classy. That That's it. It just seems like trying to take advantage of people in times of fear. That's what it feels like. We'll have to see the outcome of this action and how Lorna Jane will respond. There doesn't seem to be any media, re media releases I could find on their website as a response to this. But there you have it. So what do you all think, everyone? You know, Do you think we need to have the ACCC here to have a body to actually take this legal action? Is that a worthwhile investment? Should consumers, you know, buyer beware? Or is this also a sign that just our education system isn't up to par if people are falling for that? perhaps all three as always let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below please like 
share and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and want to support the content I create here, there are a few ways you can. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve or Aussie Broadband. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint or support us via PayPal. Take care and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.